Hello everybody, welcome to Cutter Me Clay. This is your girl Tay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to make some really pretty roses using Erica 29 rose dye. If you are interested in this video, continue watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all that good stuff y'all guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So the first thing you want to get is your tools. So these are the tools that I use, as you can see. Um, you also gonna need a foam mat or some type of mat that got like some cushion. Um, this one here I purchased from, that was store, probably Hobby Lobby, but it only costs a $1.49. Um, and it's like a foam sheet, y'all guys. And this is how thick it is. I've been using this for years um, and I cut it to be big because as you know, I do make and sell flowers. So I like my mats to be pretty big because I put a lot of flowers on these mats to make at once. Okay. Um, Cause I have a little system. <laughs> okay. So moving on, we're going to be making this rose here. And it's just so pretty, y'all guys. Um, and you only need three flowers to make that rose. So you're gonna cut out your bigger flower here, the next size, and the smaller size. And that's all you need to make that. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is get your small flower and you're gonna use this pointy tool, tweezers. You're gonna get this part here, as you see, and you're going to round that first petal like that. Okay, and that's what you wanna get. All right. The next thing you want to do, you're going to use the same tool. And you're going to do that to your flower. And that's how it should look, okay? For your first flower. Okay, so for your second flower, you're going to do the same. And then for your last flower, I'm going to get this tool here. I'm going to do it just like that, y'all. Okay. Then you're going to get this tool here. Okay. And you're going to take this part here and you're going to round out that flower. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and put your flower together. So once you put your flower together, you're gonna take this tool and you're gonna start shaping your flower. Now you're gonna take your tweezers and you're gonna sh start shaping your inside flowers. So that's the end of my video, y'all guys. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. 
all Shrap Diva 29 information will be down below as well from her Instagram shop. All that will be there for y'all guys to check out. And I will see y'all on my next video. God bless y'all. Bye.